Hi everyone and welcome. I'm really glad you could be here today. My lips get chapped, as I mentioned earlier in another video where I made that wonderful lip butter. But I'm going to show you how to also make your lips even better by clearing away any dead skin cells or chapping or drying of the lips prior to applying that lip butter. And by using a bit of cinnamon spice, some mango butter, some coconut sugar, and wonderful manuka honey, I am making this blend today. And wow, what a joy this is, because not only does it clean your lips and prep them, but it also leaves behind some of that wonderful moisture from the manuka honey and from that mango butter. And then when you apply the butter afterwards, oh, it's luscious. So the first step I'm going to take is to slowly warm the mango butter. I'm not going to melt it fast. And alternately, you could do this in a double boiler to protect those butters. But I'm, I have it on a rheostat so that I can actually reduce the heat here. So this is a little over 100 degrees. And I simply let it sit here during that time, watching it, stirring it, until it was melted. And no more than that. And as soon as it started melting, I unplugged the electricity. Because you don't want to overheat it, just like with shea butter. It can become grainy if you melt it. And we don't ever want anything grainy. Although in a lip butter, probably wouldn't matter so much. But better to start good habits and stick with them. Now there is a clue for the drawing for us hitting 2500 any day now. And this, of course, is for the $100 Amazon card and this clue is the third clue watch the previous two videos for the two other clues and in this clue this clue is their lips were sealed in the early 1980s that's it so to my melted oils i'm now adding in this wonderful manuka honey which is from New Zealand, if you don't already know that. And by the way, there is a band from New Zealand called The Lips. Funny, huh? I don't know. I make these weird little connections in my head. <laughs> and all I did was combine the honey with the oil here. And as you know from lotions and things, these two don't really emulsify together in lotions and creams. But in something like this, they work perfectly together because we're going to bind them together using that pumpkin spice and the sugar. So the oils and the honey will be all combined and sort of bound together in a solid that you can easily use. I should say a semi-solid. And it smells wonderful. If you put pumpkin spice seasonings in a soap, you do get some of that scent, but it fades rather quickly. But in something like this, it really sticks. Now, I will be using some small plastic HDPE uh, containers to put these in that I already had. But when these are all gone, I will be switching to the craft paperboard containers. And the reason for that is that I'm just trying to be a little more environmentally conscious. And not only does it smell wonderful, but it tastes great too. The honey really absorbs the flavors from that pumpkin spice and you can taste it on your lips, but don't eat all this. You want to use it for your lips. So I hope you enjoyed this, everyone. I had a lot of fun putting it together for you. Please have a wonderful day and come back soon and watch the next video for the final clue. Have a great day. Goodbye.